This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta at Srinagar's golf course in what is not exactly the golfing weather. But my guest, somebody who's, who's used to weathering many storms, has chosen the hottest of hot seats in Indian politics voluntarily, willingly, in fact, very keenly. Gulam Nabi Azad, welcome to Walk the Talk. Hello. Nice you. Old friend, veteran at 57 already, and also young at 57 for thank, politics. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What made you choose the warmth of Srinagar, leaving the chill of Akbar Road? I mean, the comfort and just the smugness of being in national politics. Most people come from states to national politics. Well, I would like to say, I think maybe, maybe the first time, I have not told uh, this secret to anybody so far. Yeah. First time I shall be talking to, the, to you in this regard. I think the first time it was 1986, when <laughs> I was uh, Minister for Food Civil Supplies. And uh, we had two of our colleagues, Minister of States, one from Karnataka and one from West Bengal, Mr. Dash Munshi. They were ministers and they were also PCC presidents. So Mr. Rajiv Gandhi told me that I feel that you should take over the chief ministership of Jammu Kashmir because that time we were fighting Farooq Abdullah. Right. And he said, you continue minister of state here in government of India and also become PCC president of Jammu Kashmir and next year we are going for elections and you can take over chief minister say. I said point blank, I'm not interested in state politics. And a decade later, again it was 95, 96, when I was union minister for parliamentary affairs, civilization and tourism. So it was uh, uh, late Prime Minister Narasimha Ravji. Again we had here uh, governor rule and he insisted that uh, I should uh, go back to Jammu Kashmir since elections are going to be held and you take over uh, the chief ministership of uh, Jammu Kashmir. So that was second time I said flatly no that I'm not interested in the state politics. So maybe exactly a decade later that is last year 2005 I decided to come here. And what made you change your mind because most other politicians particularly in your party will give an arm and a leg to have a union cabinet position. You had a good, plus you were very powerful in the party hierarchy. So what made you change your mind now? Well, number one, there was an agreement uh, in 2002 when I was PCC chief of the state and right. uh, state went for elections under my leadership. And the agreement at that point of time between uh, PDP, Mufti Saab and my party was that for first three years, he will continue, his party will continue uh, to be in power, it will be headed by PDP and uh, the rest three years, it uh, the government uh, will be headed by the Congress party. So it is at that point of time I thought that I am one of the luckiest persons in my party that over a period of uh, 25 years in the <coughs> national politics, particularly as General Secretary and Member of Parliament and uh, Minister, I have had the opportunity maybe the first general secretary in the Congress party to be in charge of 100% states and union territories right. as general secretary. So I thought I have done much in different capacities for rest part of the country. I should do something for my state also before I finally and formally retire from the politics. And I th thought this is the best time to go for the kill and uh, go to Jammu Kashmir. And uh, I have a mission, it's not uh, uh, just I have come for the hack of it that just wanted to be the Chief Minister as you have rightly said that Chief Minister of uh, Jammu Kashmir is not that attractive uh, as that of uh, uh, ministership in uh, union government. But I wanted that uh, the state uh, has not done as the other states have done. The Jammu Kashmir is lagging behind in infrastructure. Uh, and there's no work culture whatsoever. And I was very pained that last year there was a national newspaper and the survey done by that national newspaper was that Jammu Kashmir is the second corrupt 
uh, most among the second most corrupt states in the country. So, Start was your mission to fight militancy or to fight corruption? I think both. I think both.